Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on Earthbound Studios, Vincent Price, in the pit, in the pendulum, sculpted by Jeff Yeager, and a beautiful, beautiful 1-1 one, one scale. If you look at this guy, you kind of go, ooh, he's a big dude, and I feel like the incredible shrinking man as I look at this beautiful kid. The good news about this kid is, is that Earthbound is teaming up with George Stevenson from Blackheart Models and they're going to be doing a wall hanger of this kit, which he'll be holding the torch as he's looking for his next victim. So you'll want to be on the lookout for that one. But this one I believe you can still get through Mark Brokaw over at Earthbound Studios. So, before we dive into what I did to bring it to life, I want you to take a look at this beauty. It's just amazing, isn't it? Look at the face. Jeff just really, really captured Vincent Price in the role of, from the film, The Pit and the Pendulum. You've got the hooded figures on both sides of the base. You've got the pendulum on the back of the base that brought terror to those who lie beneath it and they will be separated from the top and bottom of their bodies. You can just see that uh, the eyebrows, the mustache, the robe that he wore, everything is just perfectly in there and uh, of course you've got uh, the victim at the bottom of the base with the bars in front of her. And then you can also take the bars off and you can just see the victim, Barbara Steele, as she's in the base just screaming to be let out. So, are you ready guys? You ready to dive into this painting tutorial? Are you ready Mr. Price? He says, next. I started by priming the kit with automotive gray primer. So what I did is I primed the base with the Rust-Oleum Gray Primer and I decided I, I started with the face and base coated it with Rose Flesh. I then base coated the base using Sergeant Ivory Black. That way I had her face started and I've got all the uh, deep color of the black as my starting point for the base. I began highlighting the face using Freak Flex Pale Flesh and shaded using Garage US Transparent Mars Red. Next up was base coating the eyes and teeth and for that I pulled out my Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and simply painted in the eyes. So at this point I came back to the face adding more highlights using the Rose Flesh, Pale Flesh and then more shading using the transparent Mars Red. I painted in the eyes with Freak Flex Body Baked Black and Freak Flex Mummified Brown was used for the eye color and then of course I came back in with the Body Baked Black for the pupils. I then painted in the lower eye area using Garage US Tongue and shaded underneath the eyebrows using transparent black onto the area around the face. I base coated using Freak Flex Hot as Hell Orange and Freak Flex Cat's Meow Yellow. Now we're going to move over to the base. I began dry brushing using Delta Serene Coat Drizzle Gray and Freak Flex Dead Guys Gray. And so at this point I, as I was getting my grays and starting to see the colors of the base I decided to add more coloring to the area around the face. So I used the following colors to further shade the area. Comart Transparent Violet, Garage US Transparent Golden Yellow, and Freestyle Trans Burnt Sienna. And that way I had all my colors going 
So um, just kind of making it look like it was lit up back there, like maybe there was a candle burning. So next was the nameplate. I base coated using Freak Flex Hammer Horror Dry Red and Freak, Freak, Freak Flex Old Rec Rust for the lettering and missed it with Freestyle Transparent Burnt Sienna. Now on the figures on the side of the base, I base coated the figures uh, using Freak Flex Banshee Shadow Gray and then for the pendulum on the back, I base coated the blade using Freak Flex Silver Bullet. The wood area was painted using Freak Flex Wooden Stake Brown and Freak Flex Old Wreck Rust for the blade bracket. And then I shaded the figures using Comart Transparent Royal Blue and Transparent Golden Yellow on the face areas and Freak Flex Sun Brown Red for the eyes. I then shaded the blade using some Transparent Mars Red. That way it looked like it may have just had a victim. And believe it or not, the base was done. On to Mr. Price. I primed the body with Badger Styler Res Gray and base coated the face using Freak Flex Pale Flash. I then highlighted it using Garage US Garage Flash and then shaded areas of the face using Garage US Transparent Mars Red. And then also more shading with the Freestyle Transparent Natural Flash. I painted the outer robe and hat using Sergeant Ivory Black and the hood was painted using Garage US Pun 13 Black. That is the pun stands for Punisher. It's like a black, blackish blue and I just wanted something different so the blacks were separated. The eyebrows and the mustache were painted using Garage US Transparent Dark Brown. I then highlighted the face using Reaper Tan Highlight and Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan for the eyes. Now the lower eyelid area was painted using Garage US Tongue and Sergeant Ivory Black was used to paint in the eyes. So at this point I added more shading to the face using Comart Riojo Brown Flesh and Transparent Mars Red. I added more highlights to the raised areas of the face using Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and then I dry brushed the eyebrows and mustache using Delta Serene Coat Dark Brown. Time to finish off the eyes. I painted in the eye color using Freak Flex Asphyxia Blue and Pearl Black for the pupil. I deepened the lower eyelid area once again using the tongue. You want to get the corner of the eye and then the eyelid area just as you would see in your eyes as you look at them. We're nearing the finish line. I deepened the hat using Freak Flex Body Bait Black. The robe was highlighted using Freak Flex Nair Black and then missed it using Comart Transparent Royal Blue. That way I had a little bit of a different black look but with a shade of blue like there may be a light on it. The eyebrows and mustache were dry brush using Apple Burnt Umber. And then of course you want to go back and forth as uh, you're in that process just to make sure you get everything and you don't miss anything. And believe it or not, the kit was done. So that's what I did to bring this beautiful piece to life. And if you want one of these, I'm going to put uh, Mark Brokaw's information in right now. And if you're interested in the upcoming wall hanger of this kit holding the torch, I'm going to put George's information in right now. And you can just reach out to them and just say you've seen a review of uh, Earthbound Studios Pit in the Pendulum and you just got to have one. And if you're contacting George, you're saying, put me on the list for one of those wall hangers. Now, this is also a chance for you to subscribe to Talking Models and join our family. There's a button there under this video that you're watching. You can just hit subscribe and boom, just like that, you're part of Talking Models. So I appreciate all, all my subscribers. I appreciate the support you've given me on this channel. And we're trying to get to that uh, thousand mark. And uh, by the grace of God, people keep uh, subscribing to the channel and enjoying the videos. And that's really, the, this is just about a guy talking about models, painting tutorials, and doing kit reviews. And I just love and appreciate everybody that comes alongside of me. So that's today's episode. I thank everyone for stopping in today. I pray that you have a great day today. And always, 
May the Lord bless your day.